It's the peak of summer, and many consider this the perfect time to go camping with family and friends. However, in Heise, the aftermath of campsites are starting to alarm the Idaho Bureau of Land Management, especially after major holidays like the 4th of July. Diana Nguyen has more. Me and my family used to come up here a lot as a child, and I just, people come up here and they, they leave their garbage behind you. I mean, there's a fire pit, you can throw it in the garbage. Uh, you know, we come up here, we come up here a lot. We've been up here, what, three times now? Avid camper Travis Waters and his family says the garbage is a frequent problem. If you get down by the river, there's always garbage, you know what I mean? Everybody just throws their garbage wherever, you know what I mean? They're done drinking a beer or a soda or food, you know what I mean? They just throw their wrapper around. Bureau of Land Management representative Sarah Wheeler says that now is when the trash levels are at its highest. During the summer when people start camping a lot more, we see an increase in garbage and trash and litter and um, refuge all around the area. And so as the summer progresses, we're having a lot of time, difficult time cleaning up and keeping up the pace of cleaning up all the campsites when people are dumping their trash. Wheeler says one of the most common problems is when campers attempt to burn garbage that doesn't burn. Um, there's a lot of things that you shouldn't burn in a campfire. Aluminum cans do not burn. Uh, glass bottles do not burn. Um, construction materials such as pallets. Um, they obviously burn, but they leave behind nails and stuff, which uh, can be extremely dangerous and hazardous to those people that are coming in after. Um, diapers don't burn very good, nor do plastics. So you're not going to want to put anything that's non-flammable. But what's the most avoidable problem? I see a huge problem with toilet people. Or people go off to use the bathroom and we just don't have a site big enough to accommodate that. So they're leaving their toilet paper as well as other items behind when just down the road a little bit we do have some outhouses for them to use. We want you guys to utilize your public lands. I mean camping is fun. It's a great opportunity to get out with your family and experience the wilderness. Um, with those uh, ideas in mind, use the leave no trace principles just make sure you whatever you're taking in that you're packing out with you and for families like the waters they say they'll be cleaning up after themselves because they hope to come back for more outings and i've i was born and raised here and this is great you know what i mean i'm up here for two or three weeks uh having a good time with my family um you know I mean? and we enjoy it and i hope that it's here for the rest of our lives reporting in high i'm diana newen with kpvi news six Bureau of Land Management representatives say they spend thousands of dollars to clean up campgrounds. Another common problem they run into is that people are dumping couches and appliances.